Today on K4SRF Ham Radio, I'll be discussing my views about Hamshack Hotline, the voice over IP service exclusively for ham radio operators. So stick around. So what exactly is Hamshack Hotline? Hamshack Hotline is a service, a voice over IP phone service provided by a group of volunteers exclusively for the ham radio operator. Now you may be asking yourself, well does this phone service cost me anything? Well yes it does and no it doesn't. What I mean by that is Hamshack Hotline provides a service free of charge to amateur radio operators the only out-of-pocket cost to you will be your IP phone itself. Now Hamshack Hotline does have a tech support uh, where, portal, that is, and you can submit tickets and they can look at issues that you're having trying to configure your phone or if you have some issue with the service itself. And they also have a Facebook page in which other users help if you have a particular configuration problem. Well, let's go explore the website and see what they have to offer. Okay, here we are on the home screen of Hamshack Hotline, and the URL is hamshackhotline.com. Um, this just basically tells you about Hamshack Hotline, the services it provides, uh, and what kind of uh, information you might need prior to actually starting up for the service. Uh, we also have the documents here, which will provide you other important links, uh, knowledge knowledge base and everything. And a phone book here, which will actually list all the bridges and all the other users in their extension. Uh, you can get people from all over the country or around the world. Uh, the help desk here, if you should have an issue with your installation or configuration of your phone, you can submit a ticket to the uh, technicians at Hamshack Hotline and uh, they respond to it rather quickly. Usually it's on business days because these are volunteers and they do spend time with their families and everything. So the uh, weekend support is there, but it's not as uh, robust as during the weekdays. Uh, I will say from personal experience, however, and I've submitted four or five tickets so far for different things, uh, the response of these people are very good. It's very quick, and the resolution time is... Uh, fairly quick as well too depending on what your issue is if it's a configuration issue on their side and it's usually done almost immediately in fact i had where they had listed my uh hot, hamshack hotline extension wrong they had listed the wrong four digits uh, for my extension and they went in within 24 hours less than 24 hours and corrected that uh, yeah like i said almost immediately uh there's also a way that you can check the status of your ticket if you had submitted a ticket you can uh, check on the status to make sure the ticket was submitted and where it lies as far as being resolved. Uh, your social over here just gives you two different uh, other social media platforms, Matters Most and Facebook. I'm not really familiar with Matters Most, but Facebook group, I I belong to that. I'm not a big fan of Facebook. I just never have been, but it I have found that they have helped me resolve. The other members that belong to this Facebook group have helped resolve myself plus other members some uh, with some issues they may have had as far as their configurations go. Uh, the Facebook group, I know you have to submit a request to be invited to the group. Not a problem. I did that less than an hour later. I, my invitation, my request was accepted. And I jumped on board and submitted a question I was having with some provisioning on my phone. Not provisioning, but configuration, that is, on my phone. A few people made some suggestions. They worked. Some worked. Uh, one person made a suggestion. I tried, and it worked immediately. So this was all less than an after in one afternoon's time. So it was fairly helpful. It's a uh, a good group of people there. Uh, the map. I have not quite figured out what the map does because I've gone there, and it's basically just a white screen. Uh, there may be something under construction at the time. Uh, meet the team. If you go to meet the team. That just gives you a list of all the volunteers, a picture of them, and a short biography of uh, who they are, what they do, uh, some little history on them. It's interesting. It's an interesting read as well. Uh, they don't have anything listed under VOIP Partners yet, 
uh, I'm assuming that, that they're working on that because they wouldn't have had that link here at the moment, but uh, it's still being provisioned there. People are still uh, working on getting partners. So that's probably going to be down the pike sometime in the near future. So let's go ahead and take a look and see at the phone itself, at least my phone. Though there are several models of IP phones that are compatible with the HamShack service here, HamShack Hotline service, I chose the uh, Cisco SPA525G and the optional sidecar as my phone of choice, uh, mainly because I work in IT and I have experience with the Cisco phones and know their little quirks and how they work and everything. So that's basically the reason I went ahead with the Cisco phone. But once you go, Cisco phone, as long as, as well as others, have a web-based interface, but once you go on to the web-based interface and configure your phone itself, uh, any line that you uh, configure to be used will indicate, in this case I'm talking about Cisco phones, with a green, green light indicator. And you can see there's a couple of reds here. Now, with Cisco, and I'm sure the other ones, uh, the green light indicates that the line is configured correctly, uh, but there's no one on it. For instance, uh, I'll hit public one. You are currently the only person in this conference. Mm -hmm. oh, as you can see, the line is not in use. Now, I'm going to jump into the gathering spot. I've not been into the gathering spot when there's been somebody there, so let's just see what that sounds like. After the tone, say your name, and then press the pound key. Steve. Thank you. There is currently one other participant in the conference. Hello? Mm -hmm. How are you, Steve? Hey, how are you doing there? Uh, what's, your, what's your name? My name is Brandon, and I'm here in uh, Northwest Illinois. The call is KD9LOA. Oh, great, guys. Now, I'm over here in Northwest Florida. My call is K4SRF. Uh, actually, I'm demonstrating the Hamshack phone to someone, and I just happened to see that the gathering spot had a participant in it, and I just wanted to touch base to show them how it works. So, so you're sounding great up there. How are things going your end of the world? Uh, well, they're cold probably compared to you. Uh, 23 degrees, and I got about a foot, foot and a quarter of snow outside my house. Uh, You've got me beat with the snow. It's been in the 40s here, so we're not too far away on temperature there. But anyway, like I said, Lane, I just wanted to get on here and show, actually I was making a recording to show somebody at work about the hotline, Hamshack hotline. He's uh, thinking about uh, getting it, and I just got mine completely configured yesterday or this week, so um, I hope you don't mind. I'm recording this and just show him a quick video of it. Is that okay with you? That is perfect. Uh, okay, I'm good. happy to be uh, of service to help. Okay, great. Well, let me let you go so I can wrap this up, and I've got about five other things to do today, but uh, stay safe up there with that snow and everything, and hopefully we'll catch you back on the gathering spot at some time. You stay, you stay safe. Watch out for them sinkholes down there. Be, be careful. Yeah. All right. All right. Take care. 73. Take care. Take mm. care. 73. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, you heard it for yourself. Blaine came in perfectly good from Michigan. Got a report on his cool weather and his snow. It's an IP phone, just like you have at work, so the, the quality is fantastic. And not only being fantastic, I think it is a darn cool tool to have in your uh, ham shack. It's a great addition for your ham shack. It's not only useful, it's, it's, especially if you're part of uh, an emergency services or emergency operations center, uh, RACES or ARIES, but also you can use it to converse with other ham radio operators that you know. And besides that, it just looks cool sitting on the desk here. So, have any questions? Drop me a line. I'll get to them just as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Until then, 73, this is Steve, K4SRF, and we'll catch you on the air.